Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and welcome back to Thief to the Metal Age. We just finished the chapter Trace the Courier, or Tracing the Courier, whatever it was. Trace the Courier. Okay, and I got all of the loot in there. We're moving on to the next chapter. The portal from the graveyard deposited me in a grove of trees, and the wounded pagan I was following is nowhere in sight. He's carrying Mosley's letter, and I'd still like to know where he's heading with it. My plan is to track him and find out what's been going on. The pagan has a head start in what is probably familiar territory to him, but there's some blood on the ground. I'm hoping he's in too much of a hurry to stop and tend to that wound, so he'll leave a trail of blood that I can follow. That's unless he bleeds to death before he gets where he's going. Meanwhile, I have no idea where I am or what I'll be up against, and even if I did, there's no going back for supplies. If I believed in it, now would be a good time for me to wish for luck. Okay, so trail of blood. My objectives are, there's some blood on the ground, and it's probably from the wounded pagan who's carrying Mosley's letter. Follow the blood trail to find out where his ultimate destination is. Following a blood trail alone in a dark, unfamiliar place can be difficult, so see if you can find a map or some other information about where you are. And you're a thief, not a murderer. If you catch up with the wounded pagan or come across any other humans, don't kill them. And notice they say any other humans. That's a hint that we're going to be facing something that's not human. So, as he said, no getting, no going back for supplies, so I'm right into it. And something I want to show that I find rather unusual. So we see there's a big mushroom and a small mushroom. You can pick up the big mushroom, but it's not in your inventory. It doesn't count as loot. And it's just it just disappears. And there was one in the first game in Constantine's mansion that you could pick up that was underneath a tree that did the same thing. It just disappeared and you didn't see it anywhere. You picked it up, but it just disappeared. So first things first. We've got a village map. No, oh, I didn't want to pick him up. I wanted to open the map. Not exactly a helpful map, but gives me some some information as to where I am. I'm right here at the moment. So the grove just came from there. I just came out right here because that thing is right in front of us. Friend, report any inaccuracies in this map to Friend Ashton. Reconnaissance Company. So, village, barn, and silo, the gathering place, significance of stone formations unknown. But yeah, that thing that I pointed out is right there. You can have this. I don't need it anymore. Come, Lily. Must we go? His name's Dewdrop, and he doesn't like Spanists. Lily. I have to go now. Now, I, I can never understand what she says. His name is Dewdrop, he doesn't like, and I can't catch what the word is. But anyway, this is Dewdrop. I don't believe there's any significance to it. But... Yeah, dead little girl, kind of messed up. Lily must write this five times over for home lesson. 
full moon beast called Nini, Nene, something like that, for him in Woodsy Lord's Jackal. New moon be called Enon, them's Jackal's Dark Shadow. So, I don't know what and what that means, but it's something to do with the with the trickster because he was the woodsy lord. Now, was there a health potion by this guy? No. I'm going to come over here. If I can get out of the water. I'm going to wait for the right moment to rush this guy. And I forgot to put my recording window where I can keep an eye on the time, so... Oh. I'm gonna grab the purse off of his belt and knock him out. One moment, hopefully this doesn't ruin my recording. There we go. Had to move the window over so I could see my time. Okay, so there's a health potion by this guy. Huh? Is that the gonna knock her out? Just leave her there. I know it was here. I know it. Looking for this vile heathen? My side gives it here. <laughs> Gladly, pagan. Gladly. So we're gonna f see a few ghosts like that kind of telling a story of what happened in here. Basic gist of it is the mechanists came in and just pretty much slaughtered all the pagans. So, he am the honey he am the honey maker and drinkers we them meats. He am the jacksberry and eaters me and eaters we them leaves. He am the trickster and the woodsy lord he bees. Yeah, you get to see a bit more of the unusual way the pagans speak in this game. This mission especially with this stuff like that. And I mentioned in the first game that's where I got Sneaksy Gamer from. Is because of the way the pagans speak, Sneaksy. And I'm pretty sure at some point they refer to you as a sneaksy thief, so I'm like 90% sure. So over here we're gonna grab a scouting orb. Apparently they were bringing the children to the gathering place. We've got another note here. Rounders us gardens, plants we them marigolds. Keepsies thems buggies away from the fruits. Sweet hair and vol bees kept aways too. Again, I have no idea what what some of this stuff means. <clears throat> I mean, I understand that there it's something about they plant marigolds around their stuff to keep the bugs and sweet hairs and whatever a vole is away from their plants. But there's a ruby stone there that you want to grab. Yes, I had 
have seen it. The wretched heathens did perform a ritual that allowed them to pass through. But alas, I could not follow. The builder will forgive us if we perform their pagan rituals in pursuit of his wishes. Yes, friend. Thou speakest the truth. Let us wait. Did you hear that? There's someone behind those trees. So, apparently they think that the Builder will forgive them if they perform the Pagan rituals in order to hunt down the Pagans. The night is treacherous, dark. I'm not sure that that's true, but... I mean, whatever they want to believe. It doesn't affect me any. I had to double check and make sure that I had my my webcam plugged in because that's what I use for my Is microphone. Is that thou, friend? The wind plays tricks on me today. And I forgot to check that I had it plugged in before I started recording this. <coughs> Should go around the other side then. If he's looking this way now, I'm not going to be happy. Okay. Yeah, I can do this. Might even be able to snatch that. Looks like he's got a healing potion on his belt. Maybe it's just his glove. Yeah, I think it's just his glove. Yep, it was oh! just his glove. More dead pagans. Or another dead pagan, I should say. A papyrus. Lit up the lights of a gathering place, till all of them glows round the woodsy lord's head. Then open them eyes of the jacksberry giver, by bringing the rubies, and then placing thems there. Jumps in his mouth, when glows it all red, for these is the way to them lair of the greens, the maw of them earth seas, and court of us dreams. And... The Ma of the Earth Seas, or whatever it said, is referring to the Ma of Chaos. We are returning to the Ma of Chaos. <coughs> oh, that was dumb of me. Plant as we after the spring moon is full, and water till it be at wane harvests we at the fall moon shines there after the fall moon shines there and the winds crisp air cool us be i mean some of this stuff if you think about it you can figure out what they're saying but others other things it's like it's just confusing and hard to understand so i grabbed an arrow from down below and we've got three apples here. Yeah, just in case. Just in case the ladder decides to mess with me. Because they have a tendency to do that sometimes. These people didn't have a chance against the Mechanus. Yeah, the Mechanists pretty much just came in here with their 
technology and their well not really technology but their crossbows and their maces and just slaughtered all of these pagans just simple farmers and stuff but that happens things like that happen in real life too sad but it happens now where was that other one the other ruby was not there there it is okay first I'm going to come in here grab a couple more arrows Here's the honeymaker Sits we down under his treesy roofs. Eats we all of his leaves and gifts. He feeders us. Okay, so we've got three sets of coins here. And a note cedar. We'll need another cartload of those frondy plants, and let's have no lazing about the way you normally do. If you're quick, you'll even have a bonus. Seven each instead of the usual six. Cutting my own throat for it, that's as much as I can squeeze out of these petty lordlings. But because you're my friend, and I know you need it. Anyway, get me the plans, Jabril. Then we've got a carrot and a cucumber. There, we've got the other ruby stone. And right here, we've got a giant tree house. There's nothing up here, I don't believe. Whoa. Oh, that sucks. That wasn't supposed to happen. That's what I get for trying to show off stuff that I don't need to. <laughs> it's just a platform up there anyway. There we go. Gonna grab that flare. I never even used the flares, but still, might as well pick them up. And behold my fingers. Ooh. I didn't quite catch that last part. So we've got a couple of flash bombs here. This guy's got a flare on his on his waist as well. And apparently hitting him in the butt knocks him out. Works for me. her out. Drop her over here. And this guy has a metal helmet. We can't knock him out. So we gotta avoid him. Which is not too difficult. Lord, what left is theirs to do. 
Someone has to sneeze behind to delay us a mechanist threat. But we need you with us, Birch. No! Take Minnow and go! Go, House! Look out! Okay, did this guy have anything? No. And here we've got a slow fall portion at her body. Then, they've got all the lights lit in here. So now, we place the ruby stones in the eyes. I gotta go in there. And we are in the Maw of Chaos now. That's the portal we came through before. So we got another flare. Looks like I'm still on the right track. This place is quite different from what it was in the first game, but it is the Maw of Chaos. this way and this is just really really creepy these things are called eye stalks and as far as I know they're completely harmless they're just really fucking creepy is this the mall looks different Grab those water arrows and a health potion. I'm going to use this healing potion. And we don't want to go close to those plants because they. Apparently they poison the air around them, and, well, it poisons me, and that, that liquid down there, that hurts me. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted to grab. I wanted to grab that. A vine arrow, which is basically a roll barrel. serves the same purpose as a roll barrel. So coming up here, there was a direction to go over. I came in from the eye stock area down there. We could have gone to the left, but it's a dead end. So I'm going down this way. And we see the rat men, but they're not rat men in this game. They're basically the rat men, but they're actually ape men in this game. But see that's it's basically one of the rat men but it's an ape instead. And boy, are they ugly. That is one ugly face. <laughs> but there's some that do hand-to-hand -hand combat, they don't have a sword or anything, they kind of hit you, and then there's those brown ones have um, dart guns, like blow darts, that they shoot at you, 
we come down here and grab a gas arrow there, avoiding that plant and the liquid, of course. And there were two coins down by the uh, bones down there. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't believe I did. Okay, I want to go this way first. crystal here, and two more here, and this is one of the hand-to-hand -hand ones, they just swing their arms at you and hit you with them. Here comes another one of the blow dart guys. I'm just gonna let him fall right there. And now... We get to a couple that are a bit more difficult to knock out, so I end up just killing them. Gotcha. But now, before we go in there, I want to come over to this area. jump across to grab this crystal and a noisemaker arrow. Then, one last thing before I go through that doorway they were guarding, I'm going to go back over here. Slow fall potion. And I'm going to drop <sighs> down there. I'm going to grab the broadhead arrow, a healing potion. And I did not want to drink that potion. So I'm going to reload that. I did not want to drink that because I will most likely need it. And I drink the slow fall potion in the air because otherwise I still take some fall damage if I drink it beforehand. Okay, then grab the silver nugget. And now, the speed potion. I'm gonna die. And that's why I quick saved before I tried that. I got stuck, so I couldn't get through. There we go. Now, that's why I wanted the healing potions. Because just one will not bring my life up all the way. I don't think. I'll watch and see where it brings me to. I 
Ah, that should be good for now. And now we're coming back up and going around again. And once I get up to the top, back by that doorway, I'm going to end the episode. And I will be finishing this chapter in the next episode then. And in the next episode, you get to look forward to seeing what I consider the most... Not really terrifying, but the most terrifying creature you'll run into in this game. Mainly because they kill you in one hit. And it's hard to tell how you alert them. So you'll get to look forward to seeing that. But that's at the end of the chapter, so that won't be for a little but a little while yet. But yeah, I think I can finish this in one more episode. I should be able to. So I'm gonna save here. Thank you everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.